Here's what the war in Ukraine taught us about Bitcoin. Crypto fans sometimes talk about war and societal collapse as positive for their cause. Some see them as a haven, others talk about them as hedges against inflation. There's even a view that such events could lead to the eventual demise of the US dollar as the world's dominant currency, with something like Bitcoin taking its place. So how was crypto impacted by Russia's invasion of Ukraine? What's the evidence that the war led to a furthering of this narrative? It's mixed at best. In the initial phase, after troops invaded in late February, the currency did not climb alongside well-known havens like gold and the Swiss franc. Instead, its performance was lacklustre. Even a collapse in the ruble didn't immediately lead to an influx of money into crypto. During the later phases, as tensions eased, it rallied, however, and that suggests that it's acting as a risk on, not a risk off asset. And its correlation with yields on inflation adjusted treasuries, a proxy for expectations of future inflation, didn't strengthen either. Instead, Bitcoin and other cryptos echoed the moves of the shares of technology companies like Twitter. So did the war undermine the dollar? Some say it did particularly the use of sanctions, which may hasten what the IMF has described as a stealth erosion of the dollar as the top reserve currency. But that's not benefited Bitcoin. Instead, Russia attempted to take payment for its commodities in rubles and shored up on gold. Traditional fiat currencies like the euro, yen and pound remain the only real challengers to the dollar. The lesson seems to be that investors should cut through the hype and see cryptos as they really are. Risky and volatile digital assets which potentially offer tremendous long-term growth. I'm Eddie van der Walt. This is Decrypted. For more content like this, follow us on your favorite platforms.